BBS. BBS. Black Burke Sugar, Bachelor's in Boxing Studies. Television! Fred Sanford of the Fisher Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do. Read BBS. BBS. MJ calling out either way. And this is exactly what I was afraid of. I will get into it. I really want to get the thoughts of my fellow Naoya nerds on this one. MJ calling out either way. Of course, I'm talking about Murajan Akhmadaliev, better known as MJ Akhmadaliev. And he's trying to get Naoya in the ring any way he can. Trying to get him in the ring any way he can. He's even called for any way to either fight him or surrender one of his belts. And I quote, it's a weird situation. I'm the mandatory. You have the belt. You have to fulfill your obligations. I don't know if he's scared or his team is scared or what's going on because I told them right away, I'm ready to fight. Just name the date and place and I'll be there. It doesn't matter to me where it's going to happen. I fought all my life in enemy territory and it was never an issue for me. So I'm ready and willing to step in. But if for some reason he doesn't want to, and we can see in his case that he doesn't want to fight, because despite calling my name and saying that he wants to fight me, they never reach out, so it's all a bluff, then just vacate the titles. Rules are the same for everyone. Canelo got stripped of the title. Why is Inoue not getting stripped? I believe that belt belongs to me and I was screwed on the scorecards and I still feel like a champion and I can prove it against either way because I know that I can beat him. Strong statement. Strong statement from uh, from MJ. Granted, in the immediate TJ Dohaney post-fight, we learned either way is fighting once more in December. That was mentioned. Then coming back to America to Lost Wages, Nevada, specifically. Either way, per Bob Arum, coming to America spring of 2025. Uh, Bob Arum's talked up the Vegas car particularly, and the rumor is uh, either way will face Sam Goodman in December to clear up that mandatory and then face MJ spring 2025. Arum said it's going to be a big show, this and that really putting emphasis on it. It'll probably be another Riyadh season with uh, His Excellency Turkey al Sheik. We'll learn more about that down the line. Those are just rumors. But per MJ's own words, that's what I'm getting to, per MJ's own words, anyways, team hasn't even reached out to him. So if y'all are planning this big date for April 2025, spring 2025, whatever in Vegas, I would like to think the conversation's happening now. It's in uh, about to hit October. I would like to think the conversation is happening. I guarantee, since it ain't been no conversation for MJ to be that December fight, I guarantee you Sam Goodman done heard from either way by now. I promise you that. If someone go dig up Sam Goodman, be like, hey, have you discussed anything with Team either way? He's probably going to just smile at you and say no comment. It's probably what he'll do. So, yeah. The fact that there's no conversation has me a little concerned, but I'll continue with uh, MJ's thoughts. I know that I'm the best fighter at 122 pounds. Everyone in the world knows that if there is someone who can beat him, it's me. I still feel like a champion in this division, you know, and they're finding a lot of excuses. I really respect him. I think he's a great fighter, but he doesn't act the way he talks. He's been called the best fighter in the world, and I feel it's embarrassing when the best fighter doesn't want to fight his mandatories. They're avoiding the fight, and I'm okay with that. Just vacate the title and move on. Just tell the whole world that you don't want to fight me. Don't be saying my name and that you want to fight me, but never fight me. <laughs> Again, strong comments. And hey, I'm a proprietor of... Uh, Closed mouths 
don't get fed. So you have to speak shit into existence sometimes. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. You know, I could keep pulling them out my ass, all them analogies and shit. That, but it, it is what it is. You can't just sit on the sidelines and, and hope opportunity comes and sees you sitting on the sidelines. Sometimes you got to go seize it. Now, what would and could argue that M- had MJ simply handled his own business versus Marlon Topolis, had he simply handled his own business in that fight, this would all be a moot point. To which MJ responds, one judge gave me 10 rounds in that fight and I was the defending champion. I pushed the pace. I was the one hunting that guy. I landed the bigger shots. I was the aggressor in that fight. I could have put pressure on a little bit earlier and got rid of him. But again, I still won that fight. And that's why right after the fight, the WBA ordered the rematch. And Topolis' team avoided that rematch. They said that they already had the fight set up with Inouye, and my team was okay with it because the winner was supposed to face me. But it never came through. So now, looking back, would I do th- would I do things differently? Yes. But there are judges for a reason. They have to do their job, and that night they screwed up. You know, people will have their thoughts and opinions. I kind of thought the uh, MJ Topolis fight should have been a draw. To me, that was the fairest verdict. Being the defending champion, as MJ stated, I didn't feel like he lost his title per se. When his best performance, wasn't mad that he didn't get the verdict, but I didn't feel like he truly, truly lost his title per se that night. But all of this, long story short, this is what I've been afraid of all along. Inouye is actually propelling MJ. My dude, my bruh, my Tomodachi, now Oya Inouye is actually propelling MJ, making MJ more famous by not facing him. Think of Canelo and how he's basically legitimized David Benavidez by not fighting him. And think of the backlash Canelo gets every single time he signs another fight. First thing, me and and you all want to know, what about Benavidez, dog? What about Benavidez? That's what's building here, and I don't like that. Inoue doesn't need that. What about Benavidez? What about MJ? What about MJ? I don't want that for my dude, my bruh, my Tomodachi, now owe y'all Inoue. I don't. Don't leave that stone unturned, bruh. December or spring 2025, whenever. Please, please, now owe you. Please fight MJ Akhmedaliev. Don't allow him to ride your coattails to further fame and notoriety. To cloud chase his way to prosperity. People be like, pss, 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 pss. yeah, yeah, that's that, that's that guy Inoue wouldn't face. That's that guy Inoue ducked. We don't want that. We can't have that. Now, oh, yeah, Inoue and now, oh, your nerds, like myself, across the globe, we don't need that. Read BBS, BBS. Black Burp Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Televisio! Fred Sanford of Mephistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.